So what are hot spots? What are they good for? Why would you pay attention to them? Do you need to pay attention to them? Let's talk about it right here, right now. First of all, let's go into the DoorDash website and let's actually see what they say hot spots are. We built hot spots to help dashers find deliveries quickly while on the road. A hotspot is an area within your dashing starting point that indicates the busiest areas for orders. You will generally see hotspots near areas with many restaurants. To increase your chances to receive more orders, simply position yourself closer to the hotspot. Hotspots are meant to guide you to busy areas and they are consistently refreshed throughout the day. Second, let's talk about the two different types of hotspots that there are according to DoorDash and whether they're relevant to you or not. Historical hotspots are shown as the flame icon without the red area around them and say previously busy hotspot zone at the bottom of the screen. You will see historical hotspots when it isn't busy enough to create a dynamic hotspot. These hotspots are based on recent data and guide you to restaurants that are usually busy at that time. So as you can see, historical hotspots really are not that much value to you. If you prefer to go to those areas that they have the hot spots because you're nearby and you think that time of day it's going to be busy, that's okay. But do not drive across town to park at a historical hot spot. That doesn't help you at all. They actually shouldn't even be putting those out there because it's confusing to drivers, especially new drivers. So it's perfectly okay to ignore historical hot spots because they do not actually tell you that the restaurant is actively making anything. They're just historical. So they give you a little bit of data on maybe trends that may be happening in your market. So don't waste your mileage. Don't waste your time chasing these around. Next we have here is dynamic type hotspots. Dynamic hotspots are created when a certain restaurant or area currently have a lot of orders. Dynamic hotspots will have a red area around it highlighting the full area of the busy restaurant and will say busy hotspot zone at the bottom of the screen. You do not have to be within the red areas to receive an order, but the closer you get, the more likely you are to get an order. Dynamic hotspots, on the other hand, are good to focus on. They are showing you by lighting up the little red dots near the hotspots that the restaurants are actively working on an order. So we do wanna pay attention to what's going on here. If you're nearby one of those hotspots, it's not gonna hurt you and it actually will help you if you do go park near that restaurant due to the fact that DoorDash uses proximity for efficiency when giving orders out to different drivers. So when those are lit up, I wouldn't suggest driving across town to try to catch orders like you're chasing them all over town. But if you're near a restaurant that lights up, go park near it, it's not gonna hurt you at all. So there's your different types of hotspots. But the thing that DoorDash doesn't tell you is when they show 10 minutes when they refresh the hot spots and a new hot spot pops up is that if there's only one maybe two orders being made at that restaurant you're only gonna see that order get sent to you from 10 minutes to eight minutes from seven minutes down those orders will not be dispatched so if you don't receive the order from the hot spot when you're parked right there between the 10 minute mark and the eight minute mark, I'm gonna say 90% chance you're not gonna receive an order from that restaurant. I want you to focus on that for a little while in your zones, see if it's the truth in your zones as well as mine. I've worked in Phoenix, I've worked in Scottsdale, I've worked in Glendale, I've worked in Wichita, Kansas, I've worked in Newton, Kansas. So I've worked in multiple different cities, different sizes of markets, and this is true of every single one of these markets. The eight minute rule is what I'll call it. You need to pay attention to it. DoorDash doesn't talk about it, but I'm telling you now, if you park there at five minutes, you're not gonna see an order. If you park there at six or three, you're not gonna see an order. It's between the first two minutes that they have refreshed the hotspots from minute 10 down to minute eight, you'll see the order. If you don't, you're gonna see another driver come and pick it up, guaranteed. I know several of you watching know what hotspots are. 
I know you know the difference between dynamic and historical hotspots. You know which ones to avoid. You know how to use them to your advantage. But I wanted you guys to know the eight minute rule is a real thing that you should really start to focus on that if you're using the hotspots to make more money or you think you're gonna catch an order don't get caught off guard when you go to a hotspot and you don't get an order because it's past the eight minute mark on the refresh i hope this was helpful for you guys i really do want to help everyone get better get out there have some fun make some money have a good day